a moon hung in the night sky, casting an eerie glow over the desolate town of Hollowsville. I found myself wandering the deserted streets, drawn to the flickering lights of an abandoned carnival in the distance. Why not, I thought, a deserted carnival in the middle of nowhere? What could possibly go wrong? As I approached, the once cheerful music now sounded like a creepy lullaby played on a broken accordion. The creaking of rusty rides echoed through the air, a symphony of nightmares for anyone brave enough to venture into this carnival of horrors. The wind whispered through the skeletal remains of cotton candy stands, as if mocking the laughter that used to fill the air. In the midst of this eerie scene, I stumbled upon a ticket booth that seemed to defy the passage of time. The sign above it proudly declared, Welcome to Nightmareville, where your worst dreams come true. How fitting, I chuckled to myself. I fumbled through my pockets and miraculously found a single tattered ticket. With my special ticket in hand, I ventured deeper into Nightmareville. The carnival rides loomed like demonic creatures, their once colorful paint now peeled away, revealing a sinister undertone. First up was the Ferris wheel, its creaking turning into a distorted lullaby. As I climbed into the rickety carriage, I couldn't shake the feeling that each revolution brought me closer to an impending doom. The view from the top was anything but breathtaking. It was a panorama of nightmares. Shattered mirrors reflected distorted images of grotesque clowns and disfigured animals, each one seemingly laughing at my misplaced sense of avenger. Next on the list was the haunted house a dilapidated structure that seemed more like a condemned building than an amusement ride. The door swung open with a chilling creak, and I entered a dark corridor that twisted and turned like the labyrinth of my own fears. Ghostly whispers echoed through the halls, and every shadow seemed to come alive with malevolent intent. Suddenly, a figure emerged from the darkness, a spectral being with hollow eyes and a tattered cloak. Welcome to your nightmare! I couldn't help but chuckle nervously. Great costume. I quipped, but the figure remained silent, gesturing for me to follow. As I ventured deeper into the haunted house, the horrors intensified. Ghastly apparitions leaped out from hidden corners, their moans and groans a symphony of the damned. I had tried to maintain my sarcastic facade, cracking jokes at each frightful encounter, but the oppressive atmosphere began to wear on me. Finally, I reached the exit, gasping for breath, as if I had narrowly escaped a descent into madness. The spectral guide reappeared, its hollow eyes fixed on me. Did you enjoy your journey through Nightmareville? Oh, absolutely. It's not every day you get to experience a carnival that makes you question your sanity. The ghostly figure chuckled, and with a wave of its hand, the carnival around me began to crumble like a house of cards. The rides disintegrated into dust, and the twisted laughter faded into the air. As I stood there in the midst of the vanishing nightmare, the ghostly guide turned to me one last time. Remember, nightmares are just dreams with a twisted sense of humor. And with that cryptic farewell, I found myself alone in the moonlit night, the remnants of Nightmareville disappearing into the shadows. As I walked away, I couldn't help but wonder if the carnival had been a figment of my imagination or if I had truly experienced a night of sarcastic horror that would haunt my dreams for years to come.